Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. So have you ever wanted to have a nicer looking terminal or have you just looked at the terminal that I use in my demonstrations a lot of times? Well, today we're going to take a look at that terminal. So normally when you launch a terminal, you'll do a control alt T and it will bring up a terminal and by default, it generally looks like this. You get a standard um, X terminal display and nothing's real fancy about it. If I do something like a CD into a folder like downloads, you get an altered prompt and that looks generally pretty good. But let's take that a step further and see what else we can do with it. So let's go ahead and make this terminal bigger with a couple of control shift plus signs. And let's spread it out here just a little bit larger. And let's go do some installation and updates. So first of all, I'm going to CB back to my home folder. The first thing we want to do is we want to install a new terminal emulator called Terminator. So I do a sudo apt install terminator. I provide my sudo password and it goes off and installs. The next step is I want to go install the Powerline fonts. So I do a sudo apt install fonts powerline. Now I want to make sure that our default terminal is terminator. And so the command that I'm going to issue here is a sudo update dash alternatives space dash dash config space x dash terminal dash emulator. I go ahead and enter my sudo password and you can see here that it says that terminator is in fact my default emulator. So I just go ahead and hit enter. In order to change the command prompt, the next step I'm going to do is do a nano on dot bash rc, which is the bash resource file. I'm going to go all the way down to the end of this file, and I'm going to paste in uh, a code segment that I have in the show notes. And once I do that, I'm going to do a control O to write out the file hit enter and a control X to exit the editor. At this point, I can go ahead and do a control alt T. So the other thing is I don't necessarily like my banner to be white, but that's a system default. So if I go under settings and I go under appearance, I can go to the dark theme. And once I go to the dark theme, all the windows take on the dark theme and we now have our new terminal here. So let's blow this thing up a couple levels with a couple of control shift plus signs, just so you can see what's out here. And let's go ahead and enlarge this terminal by just dragging it a little bit bigger. And we're gonna do a right click on the background and go to preferences. And these aren't terminal preferences. These are the Terminator terminal preferences. And so we're going to go over to Profiles. And here you can see that there are a number of choices. But I'm going to go to the one called um, Command Choices. Let's see, Color Choices. So I have gray on black. And I can certainly change this in my videos. I normally go to green on black. And then under background, I can go to transparent background and say I can put my transparency level up to about, I don't know, let's say uh, 0.85. And then I can go ahead and close this window. And you can see we have a little bit of a transparent window here. Going back into Preferences again and going over to Profiles in general, you can see that there is a Monospace uh, or Ubuntu Mono Regular. And I like to uncheck this default font and then go down here and look up Monospace. 
and I like to pick monospace regular and then I like to set my font up to about 16 and I select that and I go ahead and close that window and if we do an LS there uh, we have a really nice looking terminal now with a really kind of improved font I'm not sure we have that font yet. Yeah, let's try that again do a control alt T and it comes up with this default larger font size we do the LS and sure enough our font looks really pretty fabulous so if we exit our terminal here and we exit our original Ubuntu terminal I want to go out and show you that that Bosch RC script information I got from Andres Gongora's uh, GitHub which I'll link in the show notes and I extracted some of his code out of this particular uh, application and that's how I got the prompts set up the way that I wanted them. Now the other thing is you can do a control alt T at this point and we'll get the new terminal. But if you click on terminal over here, you're going to get the older terminal, although we have the newer prompt. The last change we want to make is we want to change our shortcut for terminal here. So I can right click here and say remove from preferences. And then I can come down and say, bring up Terminator. And when I get Terminator up and running, I can right click in it and say, add to favorites. Now my shortcut goes to Terminator and also my control alt T command goes to Terminator as well. Since we use the terminal so much in Linux, it's really nice to have a terminal that really looks great. So anyway, I encourage you to go look at the show notes and that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll see you next time.